Severe exhaustion, breathlessness, brain fog, all symptoms Cathy Deleste has dealt with since her chronic fatigue diagnosis 20 years ago. At times she's been unable to work, study or even move. To the point I couldn't walk. I was in bed, I really couldn't do anything at all. She's seen some improvements in her health, but catching COVID in April was another major setback and a case of deja vu. The, the symptoms for me are exactly the same. Um, I'm really quite debilitated again. She's not the only one to notice the similarities between chronic fatigue syndrome and long COVID. Griffith University's National Centre for Neuroimmunology and Emerging Diseases had been studying chronic fatigue for about 10 years. But as long COVID emerged, they switched their focus. Now a breakthrough, the illnesses share more than just symptoms. And we've identified an overlap in the pathology. Professor Sonia marshall Gratisnik found both chronic fatigue and long COVID patients have faulty ion channels that she describes using a key and lock analogy. We've shown that when you put the key in the lock, and try and open the door. The door doesn't open properly and calcium is impaired and it can't come inside. And every cell in our body requires calcium. The next step is to develop testing that's widely available to the public, which the team hopes will lead to treatment options for the estimated half a million Australians with long COVID. Our research is impactful and it wants to make meaning to those people to change their lives. Professor Marshall Gratisnik says long COVID is a public health priority and without more research will have implications for the healthcare system into the future. Heidi Sheehan, ABC News, Gold Coast.